It's so nice to be with you again. Um, I do want to give another plug to get into the Golden Circle, a webinar, um, our webcast, because um, you get so many benefits. But go to my web and see all the things that we're doing. I Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and you know, Christopher, my son, does marvelous readings too. So you can see everywhere I'm going to be, whether I'm cruising or whether I'm going to Egypt or whether I'm going to Ethiopia, wherever I'm going, or whatever I'm doing, you can tell on all the lectures that I'm going to be giving around the country. So please, um, you know, we also give hypnosis classes, so please um, tune in to the web and also the webcasts. And uh, because we love having you with us, uh, because we feel like we're right in your front room, and I hope you feel the same way. Today I'm going to be talking to you about something that seemed to be, some years back, very controversial. It seems to be more accepted now. I know the Catholic Church always put Mary in the place, but let's talk about Mother God. Let's call talk about the co-creator, Mother God. Now let's go on rationale, let's not go on faith. If God made us in the image and likeness of God, and we're told this, and of course it had to be, God couldn't be just some nebulous something that floated around in the ethers. We have to be made in the image and likeness. So if God just made man, who made us? So of course there was a female. And it's amazing too to notice as I've traveled the world, whether it's Egypt or Turkey or Greece, every single one of them has a mother god in Turkey, it's the Anatola, who rules the country, or Isis. See, down through all the centuries, except for the United States, they've had a mother god or goddess. The Hindus do. Um, Catholics, of course, like I said, make Mary. The Turks have the uh, Anatola. Uh, we have Isadora, we have Sophia, we have Theodora doesn't matter what you call her. We happen to call her Asna. And it's funny because the Bible talks about um, the blasphemous thing to have a mother goddess. It was called Azara. So I think that's strange because you see they wanted to have a patriarchal society and that's why they ruled out mother God. She could, I have found you don't even have to talk out loud to her. She hears your thoughts. And I always say, Mother, protect me. Mother, protect all the ones around me. And also God the Father, too, because he's the one that keeps us. Okay. Even though my church, the Society of Nova Spiritus, is a Christian society for spiritual awareness, I've always encouraged the readings of all religious texts of all religions. I firmly believe that our Lord Jesus Christ said, and is a scene in Gnostic belief, like I said, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Matthew 7, 7. I've always said and will continue to say that whatever you read or hear, take with you what you want and leave the rest. Because if we don't, you know what happens? We become a cult. And there's no sense of becoming a cult. When somebody tells you how to live, how to breathe, how to work, how to dress, what to eat, no, no, you run. And somebody tells you they're better than you, you run. God bless you and keep you until we meet again. And that'll be very shortly. In between that time, just give it a try. Say, Asna, help me through this day. You'd be surprised how fast the day goes. God love you.